Hello and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 140, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern Time. We're your hosts. I'm Anton. And I'm Marwa. I'm always happy to be here with you. Great to have you again, Marwa. Um, like every week, uh, we are pressed for time to get this one in in just five minutes. It's going to be a little bit of work, but um, I think today we're going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to give the tip in the first 15 seconds, and then we'll kind of come back around to why this tip. So okay. let, me, let me jump right in. I'll start my timer, and uh, we'll get going. So let's see here. I'm going to kick off the timer. So this week's tip is simply this. When you're working with a working copy, um, I'm going to, we already have a working copy here. I'm going to show you when you do merge into main, and there's a couple of ways to get here, but when you do merge into main, the very first thing you want to do every time is unclick anything that says changed. That's the tip. Now, we're going to take it a little bit farther from there, but that is the tip. Anytime you do merge into the main, the very first thing you need to do is unclick changed. All right. So we're going to rewind a little bit. I think by now, most people might know that working copies are a way to make a copy of an application, work on the copy, and then merge it back in. So we have this little application right here. This application, all it has is a home page and then two more pages. So page one, two, and three. Page two is this report. Page three is this right here. I have two tasks. Task number one is when I click on the color, I want to be able to edit the color. So I'm going to need another page, and I'm going to need to change this to be clickable. Task number two is when I click on the last name, I want a form to come up to allow me to send an email to that person. So that's task number two. So Marwa, I assigned you task number one, and I assigned okay. myself task number two, and we've done the work. So if we come back here and we take a look, we'll see we have two working copies yours to add the color and me to send the email. So, right. So I'm going to jump right in here. I'm going to say, I've got my working copy working. I'm going to merge it into main, just like I showed earlier. I'm going to hit this merge. The very first thing I'm going to do is what? Unclick the things that says and changed. Change. I'm going to unclick it right away. <sighs> okay. Now, once I've done that, I can actually go look at my changes and I'm going to see look through here and say, okay, it changed this plain text last name to a link. And that's the link I defined. And I don't see any other changes. This looks good. I can check this one back. I can look and say, okay, I added a breadcrumb entry. I added a, a list entry and I added a page. Okay. I'm going to click next. I'm going to merge this guy right into main and we're good to go. Okay. So there we go. I run it and it looks great. I've got this, I've got my last name and the ability to send an email. All right, Marwa, your turn. I'm gonna share your screen. Now you do the same thing. Yes, so Anton, you did the merge on your side. I'm at my work and copy Marwa's application and I should do the merge. Let's merge into main. By now, everybody probably remembers the very first thing that we're going to do when this screen comes up is unclick click anything that says change. Exactly. So I have two changed entries. I should unclick them first thing and then go check the differences. So this is page number four and I see changes that I did not make, Anton. Actually, I created this page and this should be a new page. I did not make those changes, see? Ah, so this is problematic. Yes. This is exactly why we always undercheck, uncheck this. All right. What about the other page, page two? Okay, page two. So I noticed that there is a change of the type of the source of this region, and I did not make this change either. Wow. Wow. And there are a whole bunch of changes in this region. Yes, exactly. Additional columns. Did you make any of these changes? Well, no. <laughs> right. So let's let's close this. What 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 happened here? 
Okay, so it was page four. What? We both of us created page with the same number, which is right. page number so four. Let's click more information right there in this little region above. And it gives a little hint. Um, it's the fourth bullet down. It's buried way down in here. What does this fourth bullet say? Okay, so it says to, over, to avoid overrides or errors on merge, we should reserve page ranges for new pages each developer will create. That's and right. same thing applies for shared components. Incredibly important. And it's buried way down in here. Just like if you do a merge in Git or something, there's a level at which these, this merge happens. In, in Git, it's at, oop, that's our time. And I think we've got our tip in, but I'm going to finish my statement anyway. The, the tip, the, in, in Git, when you merge a file, it doesn't take part of this file and part of that file. It's going to bring that whole file in. You can check the changes. You can resolve them yourself. Apex does it at the page level. So if you add a region to a page and I add a region to a page, it's not, we're not going to get both regions. You're going to overwrite mine or vice versa. Yes, yeah. exactly. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do the merge. We shouldn't, right? Because we know it's going to break. But what happens if you do this? If you go ahead and click these check. Oh, Ooh. I should I should check back. Go, yeah, previous. Yes, I should check back the changed entries. So if we forgot to do this, this is what's going to happen. Now, look, it's also adding two breadcrumb entries. Right, so go ahead and run your application. My changes are gone. What yes. Happens, what happens if you click on your change? It's, it says edit color, right? But we don't actually know what breadcrumb it's going to take because it actually now has all the, your breadcrumbs and my breadcrumbs. If you refresh this page a hundred times, sometimes it's going to say edit color. Sometimes it's going to send say send email. Um, exactly. You can pick either one. We have two breadcrumbs that both point to this page. What about your navigation yeah. bar? What's what's in your navigation list? We've got both send email and edit color because we brought them both in, and they both point to the same thing. Yes. So this is working copies are great but they're not a panacea. They're not a global solution for all of your needs. You need, you still need to do all of the things that you did before, which are things like locking pages, um, build options. Those kinds of things are still really important. Reserving a page range, just like the help says, buried way down in, four pages deep in the fourth bullet down. All of those things, super important yeah. working copies. Right, Anton. So we should follow the best practices to avoid such issues when merging pages and working copies. Excellent. So Marwa, that is our four minutes plus a little bit maybe of cheating. We got the tip in, but the the the, the elaboration went went beyond. Um, I have today. I don't have a wisdom of the week or anything of that, but I did. I did learn something this week that I probably already knew. Oh, let's take talking to each other has always been top right. I, know. I love this from Plumman. Yeah, definitely communication is still a huge part of our, our business. And uh, no AI is going to solve that uh, this week anyway. Exactly. So so my, my notion of the week is this. I... I heard somebody say this the other day, and I'm sure if I had thought about it, I would have, I would have realized it. But Marwa, do you realize that all clothing is handmade? Really? Really? Nobody puts a bolt of fabric into a into a machine, and out pops a t-shirt. Every right. t -shirt, every collar is sewn on by hand. It's right. incredible to me to think of it this right. There's so much clothing out there. That, but, but every stitch has been guided by a person's hands. It, wow. It, it, it seems profound to me. I, I just hadn't really given it that kind of thought. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I never thought of that, actually. So next time you go and buy a $6 t-shirt, just think about what went into that. I don't know. For me, it was really a, 
just really a powerful thought that every piece of clothing is handmade. Yes, yeah. I totally agree. Well, with that, I think everybody's got something to think about for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I have. Anything else from you, Marwa? Uh, no, we will have some other wisdoms next week. All right, all right. Enjoy your weekend, everyone. Do all the things like send a letter to your mom, tell her about the show. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.